It's totally amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's so interesting coming to the factory here and just seeing the actual process that goes into a rope because you look at a rope and you think this is a really simple item, but actually you see all the steps that go into producing it and it's a really long and really detailed process and there's so many steps to it and I never realised this. I think the bit that I didn't understand at all was the very initial stages of the braiding from the very very thinnest strands and pulling those together in terms of the the initial structuring of the rope and how you then create that center core of the rope i had no idea that there were different ways to twist the rope and to heat it and to stretch it and to rest it i just had no idea that that's how it's done i thought it was simpler but i now realize it's quite complicated I definitely think that the rope as a product itself is the most complicated I've seen in terms of the number of stages that go into it and the sheer amount of machinery and the kind of investment into the process. It's not like you can go, oh, I'm gonna manufacture ropes this year. This is the new thing I wanna do. That's a massively laborious and expensive thing to go into. And it's very different to someone saying, oh, I'm going to manufacture chalk bags or I'm going to make climbing t-shirts. It's a completely different thing. And I didn't really realize that until I came to the factory here and saw it with my own eyes. Now I actually used tendon ropes a long time before I started to be sponsored by them. And it was one of the reasons why I was really psyched to actually work with Tendon because I want to work with a product or a brand which I already know and have experienced and I'm like a normal customer. And that's the thing that should be the way that sponsorships work because you actually genuinely like the product because you chose to be one as a consumer. Is this the way that Adam did it? <laughs> or Adam would do it? <laughs> and the one thing that I always appreciated from the tendon rope products that I used over the period of the years was the durability. That's like the number one thing that always stood out over every other rope was how long it lasts. One of the things that I've noticed with the tendon ropes, and I use these all the time, like here in sandstone, on gritstone in the UK, which is sandstone, and then also in America, is that those forms of rock are really hard wearing on the rope, and these ropes stand up so well. They're incredibly durable, and compared to any other type of rope I've used, they last longer, like at least double the amount of time, and it's really impressive because I push the ropes really hard, but I see the difference in my hands, and it's, it's good. It's brilliant, it's so good out here and I kind of wish I wasn't going home so early because I'd like to just do more of the classics and kind of get to know the more of the areas. It'd be really cool to do that. I think the quality control aspect with having the factory here in the Czech Republic and producing the thing, looking at every single metre of the rope with a human hand and eye is such an important aspect to what goes into the quality of the product at the other end. It's not like these stages of it. it gets One thing gets done here, then it gets sent somewhere else, and this other person doesn't really care as much. They're just in it for the commercial nature. I think this is really nice to see, and coming to the factory here and meeting the people that are working in it and seeing the care that goes into every single rope, like every rope, <laughs> is really cool. 
definitely the Master Pro 9.2. That is the beast. It's just a total workhorse. And it's the type of rope where you get it and you think, ah, oh, I'll get X amount of time to use out of it. So I would say typically around one year of use for me is good and I'm happy with that. But I've got multiple 9.2s that I feel like I can't kill them now and I've moved them on to other uses so they might be just rigging rope or they just get used for top roping and, and trying projects but three years down the line they're still not dead <laughs> and it's, it's really cool. Granite or sandstone? Sandstone. Bullhead or chimney? <sighs> chimney. <laughs> Hand jam or finger crack? Hand jam. Layback or pocket? Pocket. Uh, overhang or sweat plan? Slab. Uh, Zion or Yosemite Valley? Oh, Yosemite. Um, during climbing, uh, shorts or pants? Uh, pants. Uh, Chris Sharma or Anna, Anna Mandra? Andra. <laughs> Messner or Kukuchka? Messner. Batman or Superman? Oh, Batman. Football <laughs> uh, or rugby? Neither. <laughs> tendon or tendon? <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs>